Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am transforming myself into Violet from The Incredibles. I love The Incredibles movies. I think they're super cute. This makeup look is super easy. It's literally just foundation, face paint, rhinestones, and a lip, and it went way quicker than I even thought it was gonna go. So it's very, very easy. The wig is from Amazon. Um, it actually came with the headband, so I'll link that down below. Same with the Incredibles costume. I know they have these in a lot of different stores, but anyway, this is a super easy look. If you're looking for like a last minute costume or something, this one is incredibly easy. <laughs> oh my God, I hate myself. Anyway, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start out bare-faced here, and the first step is to glue down the brows, and I'm just using a glue stick. Definitely use the purple one, it's so much better. This one's also really old. So we're just pushing the brow hair upward. And now for the mask, I'm gonna use the mask that came in the costume as a template, and then I'm tracing it on my face. I'm tracing it with a brow pencil. You can use any pencil that you want. Just try to make sure to keep the mask in one spot so that way it doesn't move around a lot. And then you take the mask off and you kind of have a template of where you're gonna paint. Now, when I did this, I decided to fill in the top a little bit more because Violet's mask was more rectangular. And this is something that I kind of regretted. I wish I left it more angular at the top because I feel like it gives the face a little bit more expression. And on the bottom half, I decided to make the mask a little bit shorter because I felt like it went kind of far down on my face. So you can kind of tweak it to make it fit your face the best that you want, or obviously you could freehand. I'm glad I made the bottom half shorter, but I definitely wish I left the more intense brow top half than straightening it out on the top. Whatever you feel like doing, whatever floats your boat. So now I'm just powdering down my brows with some translucent powder. Now, since I've practiced more, I definitely do like four to five layers of glue, but for just doing this, one layer absolutely worked. Now I'm gonna apply the foundation and I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Whenever I do anything Halloween, this is my go-to. This is the shade NW15. And I'm using a flat foundation brush to apply it around the mask area first, just that way I have a nice close application to the mask line and then blending it downward. And once I'm done applying it, I like to pounce it in with a beauty blender. Now for the mask part, I'm taking some water-based black paint. I'm starting with a flat brush. This is a, actually this is a paint brush. So I'm doing the outer edge first and then I'm gonna pull everything towards the inside. So that way I don't, you know, color outside the lines here. And I was surprised how well the water-based paint covered on top of the brows. I was expecting it to be a little bit more crinkly, but it covered pretty well. So I'm applying the water-based paint around everywhere except for up close to my eyeball. I'm actually gonna be using a Makeup Forever uh, face paint on the eyeball just because this one's a little bit creamier for all the little fine lines around the eyes. And you wanna make sure you make this face as well. This is, that's the worst face ever. <laughs> So now I'm gonna set that face paint with some black eyeshadow. This is the one from LC Cosmetics. I know I'm using a, that's not Marc Jacobs, this is NARS uh, pencil for the waterline and also tight lining the top lash line. So now for the fun part, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to this look. So I got these gems from Amazon and this was the perfect size, you know, not too big, not too small. So I'm gonna glue these on with lash glue and I found it worked easiest to do like six dots at a time, kind of figure out how far apart they need to be and then just go in and by the time you get to the last one, it's really tacky. So it's stuck on very, very well. And I thought this step was actually gonna take a lot longer, but I think because I did like six dots at a time, it went by pretty quick. I would say gluing on all the rhinestones took about 20 minutes or so, which is, you know, less time than it takes me to do a wing. So this was a huge win for me. I love the diamonds too. I feel like it added a little bit of sparkle to the look, you know, made it a little bit more Instagram friendly. So then I'm applying some false lashes and now it's time for the lip. This is the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil. If my makeup room was not such a disaster right now, I would write down the exact name. I wanna say it's number 30, but I'm gonna write it in the description box. So I'm starting with an overline and then I like to come in and deepen it up because I definitely want the lip to be exaggerated. So I start with the shape and then I deepen up the whole lip line. I would say this lip liner is probably like four to six shades darker than the lipstick color that I wanted to use just because I wanted it to be very exaggerated. So now I'm applying a lipstick. This is the KKW 
uh, pink number two lipstick. I want it to be kind of like, you know, a Barbie-ish, almost Bratz doll kind of looking lip. So I'm patting this on, kind of blending it into the lip liner, but I still want it to definitely stand out and there to be a difference between the two. So I apply the lipstick, I come back in, touch up one more time with the lip liner, and then I also wanted there to be a little bit of a curl, like a cartoon type curl up at the very corners of the lips. So I added just a little flick up at the corner just to add a lift to the outer corner of the lips, which I think gives a cool effect. It looks a little bit weird while you're talking, but when you're just, you know, your mouth is rested, I think it looks really cool. And now it's time for the wig. So I ordered this one off Amazon. This is actually a violet wig. And when I got it, I was like, what is going on with these bangs? But I am gonna heat style this a little bit just to smooth it out because Violet's hair is incredibly straight. I did it on a very, very low heat setting. I'm straightening out the ends just to get rid of some of the kinks in it. And now I'm coming into the bangs and straightening the bang because this bang reminded me of fourth grade when I used to curl it and tease it and do weird things. So I definitely wanted to smooth it out. And then I'm coming in and uh, adding some, this is I think medium hold hairspray, strong hold would be great. Um, and then pinning it in place so that way it'll stay. And then next we wanna add the headband. I still have the clips in place just that way it holds um, its shape until we're ready to take it out. And then lastly, I just sprayed the bangs one more time because they were so out of control when I took them out of the bag. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. I'm gonna link everything that I ordered in um, the description box down below so you guys have like direct links to everything. Super easy costume, pretty fun to do, and uh, it's simple, you know? You don't have to worry about eye makeup either. <laughs> All right you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.